this is part of the basic Python programming tutorial for new Blender users. All right, so we'll get back to the code here instead of all that math. But for the few of you who may have been curious about those complex numbers, I challenge you to use the FOIL algebra method to multiply i times i. Remember, i is just would be one i on the imaginary axis. And so the pair would actually be zero on the real axis. So it'd be zero plus i times zero plus i. And then you'll understand why i squared is equal to negative one. Okay, so in this lesson what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at two things. One, we'll take a look at modifying text on the displays. You can modify that within your code. And also we'll take a look at classes within the code. Because after all, this is you know a combination of Blender and Python. So we'll look more at Blender today. So this text display was just uh, clicked here, pressed, added an object, and right there added a text object like that. And then I changed the name to, well that's the name of the object as well right here. I called it text display. And then to edit it, you enter to edit mode, and you can just e edit it like that. And then escape edit mode, like this. All right, so now let's go look at the code that I've added do this. So what I have here is now we have, uh, well actually you can take a look at this real quick if, for some of you. Do you see this? This is stuff from the game engine. Now that's how a lot of times it work in the game engine but unfortunately it doesn't apply like for instance in here where I get the text object down here. Well that's not how you do it within the game engine. And when you define the variables and things like that. It's not the same way in the game engine. So probably when I finally get around to doing the game engine tutorials, I'll probably do something equivalent to like a type def in C where you can, or something where you can switch between the game engine and the Python code. So, you know, you can use them interchangeably a lot easier than this. So this is pure Blender render type code in here. BPY, not BGE. There's BGE for the game engine. But what I do have in here is now I have a class defined. All right, now class, you start with capital letters like this. That's an easy way to distinguish it. And ends with the colon like this. And then within the class, I have this method or function. I, but they're commonly called methods. And then in here, I have a, a dictionary like this. And I don't need that dictionary, do I, in here anymore? Um, no. That was a dictionary from the old code. In fact, that's ac this is how I was accessing it via the Blender game engine, like that. And so we can we can get rid of that dictionary definition, like this, because all we're doing in here is we're modifying the text and we're doing a little we're creating a class. So uh, let's see. This has to so within our method heck we get the text display, the object called text display, and then the modifications are going to have to be this, like this. One is you toggle edit mode. So you want to make sure in this case, since you're going into edit mode, you want to make sure you're not in edit mode at the outset, otherwise you're going to get an error. And then um, insert, text insert, I just put in new string. And you know where I picked these up from? Oh, you know I did. Right, straight from right here. I went in and edited the text and it showed up on the info bar and then I right select. You know if, if you run into issues on this what you can do on this you right select to get the blue but then you have to right select it to disable it again. So you you may have you know right clicked something up here and been sc scrolled further down and then clicked it again and then get copies of it so get rid of that. And then uh, within here to call the routine and this is in the module called class time all I just is I call what the heck but it's really what the and then dotted with heck is the method within what the heck so when we run this it should change text display to new string like that alright let's run it and see if it still works And what's it do? Did it give me an error? Text display, new string, what the, what the heck is going on? New string, edit mode. How come it didn't change it? By golly, there's the called, oh there it did, yeah it actually did. 
So there it is. It just appended it to the end because I was just inserting text right at the end of the location. I would have had to delete it. And you can find that out by right there's the delete routine, font delete. I haven't experimented with that yet. It was really a little bit about showing you how to do the text and a little bit about how to do the class. So now, you know, there's uh, classes are interesting. They're not always necessary, especially the way this is designed. How you can just run these modules and just run a little routine here and there. Classes are important for much bigger projects, which I typically don't work on. But probably the easiest way for me to remember the way class is is say you have a class and it's a just a regular math class to add numbers, division, subtraction, multiplication, things like that. And within your within that math class you have a method defined for adding two numbers and we'll get around to that here maybe in a, in a lesson or two where what you're doing is you're passing in a variable into your routine and then based on those values you add them together and then you return the sum of those variables but so obviously you know when you're in a routine you know adding a variable would be you'd add var1 plus var2 just like that. And so that would be, and maybe your method, you know, is called, you know, add, add variables or add numbers, something like that would be the name. Or just add, even, even add. This actually would probably be a better way to, you know, give you an eye, an idea of what it would do. Anyway, so say you have one called add for regular math numbers in there, and then you have a, another class down here that you defined and it's it's instead of just a regular math class maybe it's a vector math class and within there you want to add vectors together well obviously you don't add vectors the same way that you add two numbers so you're you might still have a method within your vector class that's called add but when you go into the add method you add, you have to add vectors accordingly so then in fact we maybe will implement that in one of the routines you know later on if you want to do something oh but that would be getting into more math uh, I don't know you might have to let me know about that so of course that math is really really important if you would it would be a really good animator mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay so uh, so that just gives you an idea this is you know maybe one reason why you might take a look at classes and um, yeah, classes and strings. All right, well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.